Welcome back to the Maven and Duffman show presented by Major League Gaming. Uh, if you are just tuning in, this is going to be Team Envious versus Aware. Game number one was redonkulous. Crazy. Yeah. It was the opposite of dull. Yeah, it was uh, absolutely wild. Again, uh, if you are just tuning in, I cannot apologize enough for the name issues. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we are in broadcast mode. I was checking real quick. Uh, unfortunately, it's just, from what we understand, a bit of an internet issue just with some of the setups. So not able to get all the profiles in. Obviously, that will be fixed as soon as soon. we get that ready for you. But we will do our best to fill you in on who's actually getting those clutch kills. And, God, that game number one. That 207 to 205 aware coming back in the final 10 seconds yeah. of needing that hill to be broken and they did it perfectly well you know sometimes after Merck I think Merck got one or two kills in the hill Merck They're, was holding it well they were able to get two or three down and yeah. in, in older games like Black Ops 2 hard point with that much time left on the clock and three players down for aware that's probably game yeah. But in this game, it basically, I mean, with the 2.5 second respawn, basically feels instant. It's so, so quick that they hop up. And you can cover ground so quickly in this game. It is so, so fast that all they had to do was flood and flood and flood and try to win really one big engagement. And they did it. And they got, what, the final seven, eight seconds. And they were able to pull that one out. So incredible stuff out of aware. If you are an Envious fan, a little bit nervous right now. Let's jump into Solar. We've got S and D here. This is a best of five series. Let's find out if Aware can go up 2-0 over Team Envious, or will Envious hold true to what everyone and our and our uh, MLG is predicting in the bracket show and uh, be able to balance this one back out and take out Aware here early on in pool play. Yeah, so when we talk about Solar, I mean, the big thing here is uh, B, 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 B. Uh, this, this is the one you'll down. typically see push. You saw uh, great coverage there. Able to pick up the assist. One down for either side right now. Going to be in a 3v3. But like you said, oh. Bomb is down. And he got picked. I didn't think anyone had an angle on him. I didn't think anybody either. But we have on our screen Lawless right now. Good little setup here inside this building. This is They're going to check this building and say 2v2. He's going to find one of the Bomb. Has another one in the door. Oh, he didn't see him. And he's going to get taken out. That's going to leave just happy by himself. 1v1 against JCap. 18 seconds left on this clock. Let's actually go over to J-Cap real quick. J-Cap trying to find him. J-Cap does see him. Exos out. Side swipes. Gets the kill. Ten seconds. He's trying to get all get the way over there. there. Did he? Got the diffuse. Woo. He got it. I believe he got it. I, That's a I, clutch up I, by Did Jay. he? I thought he was like a half a second off. He got it. He no, did? He yeah. Didn't. I thought he was half a second off because he got there about nine, but when he finally picked it up, I think it was like a Whoa. right around seven point something. You heard him clicking. He ran out of Exo. Trying to get over there and boost to the bomb site quicker, and he's had to pull his knife out. Oh as my! As he could. So so close, and that God after that game one loss, how brutal that was. That is not how you want round one to go if you're envy. You not, know, but they were able to uh, celebrate the fact that they did get all four down, so leading in kills at least. Jcap three and one, good start, good start there for him, like you said. Not even because Jcap died. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. just kidding. I haven't seen somebody die from a bomb explosion in like a year. NBS starting air on offense on their time. It's going to be on your screen. Play. He's going to try to chase this player, but he gets caught. He'll get taken out. Take a look at your mini map. 2v4 situation. That's just going to leave Merc and Nameless last alive. Well then. Wow. And that, that was that was a very, uh, I'll say it, that was an ugly offensive round. Yeah, that was not the polar opposite of what we saw in that first round. You started off with Jake, I believe. He's the one that kind of chased the player middle. And that's going to be difficult uh, anytime you're trying to chase in this game. Not only do you see, you know, it, it's wild to think about, you know, the players say this whole world start thing. That's the one thing I love about this game. You will see people get turned on in this more than probably any Call of Duty ever just Always. because of the movement. And it makes it so exciting for us and for the viewers. But that is another reason you do not want to be chasing in this game because it can be easy to get embarrassed as we are on board right Right now with Sender, we'll see what he can get done here on this top Sender, catwalk. Using that overclock exo ability to get to this as fast as he can. He might have seen that player that was Clacer on the opposite side. Not gonna see anybody just yet, but look how far pushed up the guys on MBS are right now. It's already gonna be a 3v3. Bombs already planted. This is what I love about Aware so far, is they able to create the objective as quickly as they possibly can. In a 2v3 though, right now, they got the work that out for him to defend the ball. Well worked out for oh, oh my Sender. god! Cinder just absolutely dismantled Merc. And that, well, I kind of I kind of foreshadowed that one a little bit, talking yeah. about getting turned on. That's exactly what I mean. Dear God, that was filthy. Nice. Nice, nice plays out of Aware. Woo! Already up 3-0 over Envious. That's going to be happy on your screen. Take a look at that two-piece to close things out. Aware is on 
fire. Yeah, and how's it looking? You know, we talked about the fact, and that's, you know, play, people haven't been giving Aware a lot of credit. Right? Have not. Warrior Justice is a lot of credit. These teams have been forming really well online. Yeah. And you know what? That's what we talked about. Even back to back to Black Ops 2, back to Ghost, more and more Ghost, because there's a lot more online play. But typically, the teams that perform on, uh, online, a lot of times perform on land. You're seeing it right now. Where's the first gunfight? And that is going to go to. Uh, who was the Clay. first? Clay. Clay. God, Clay I, I, you're much better one. looking at this piece of paper in front of us than I am. Check a look at this. Envy is pushing a very, very unfavored bomb site. And look at the rotation. Look at your mini map. All those, those three blue triangles. That's aware, and that caused the rotation all the way to A. Look at the rotation of the bomb, though. Going back to B. Let's actually watch your bomb carrier. It's going to be Merc, the captain for Team, team Envy. Is He's going to slowly approach up this bomb site. Five it out is aware. He's going to find shots into that player. Not as good to kill just yet. 3v3 situation. He's going to turn on that X ability. Gets that overclock over to the bomb. bomb He's in get trouble. Oh. Yeah, yep. He had a guy up top looking right over that. So it's just going to be what? J Cap. Uh, J Cap and Nameless. We two left, left alive. That's Jacob trying to get shots. He's got hit markers on wow. two different players. He knows where they are. He's not able to clean those up. Eventually, he is going to fall to Lawless. And my god, 4-0 so quickly. This is looking what like is happening? all aware. This, coming into this, you, we were talking before the tournament even began. And I said, we, we all agree. I think we're going to see some of the biggest upsets this event. And. Uh, Rightfully so. It's the first event. It's the opening event. Yeah. And I think Aware is one of those teams that's going to surprise a lot of people. You know, it's funny because it's just because this is this is just a very different Call of Duty. It is. It, it's. I mean, I know Ghost is very different than Black Ops 2, but still, thinking of the first event, what was it? It was Complexity first, TK second. Pretty similar to what we saw in Black Ops 2. This event, I mean, who knows, man? Anything goes right now as we're seeing in this first series here on MLG.TV slash COD. Tweet the stream. Tweet out the stream. A push coming out of Aware. Merc, the only one there. He's going to get taken out. Bomb's going to go ahead and get planted here. Accuracy taking your bomb. The Seven bomb, and the, two the, is Lawless. I just want to point that out. He didn't get the bomb planted. The giant frisbee. Great pick up there. It's going to be a 1v2 now. Last alive is going to be J-Cap. J-Cap seems to be last alive every time. You can see with that COD vision. Bomb's going to be picked up by Aware. Turns on that overclock, trying to get over the bomb site as quickly as he can. The bomb's going to be planted. If he's able to get this kill, this is going to be massive. Bomb's going to get planted. Does find that player on the bomb, but he does not pick up the kill. Who was that on Bob? That was... Your guess is as good as mine, Duff. That was Mystery Man. Well, that seven. he's got to get that kill there at oh, least. I mean, was. one of them. Happy. I'm telling you, man, this happy guy. Happy's going to... Abuse the yeah. knees there of J-Cap, just cuts him down. And this is wow. looking like a 6-0 game, too. You know, I was, I was surprised with the Aware winning game one, but it was still really, really cl close. You know, you would think this one is the one that's going to go the distance. But and this is the toughest game type, though, I think, for teams coming into a new game. S&D is the one. Like, you know, respawns, you kind of get a feel for them. They're, they're a little more similar in every game. This one, though, S&D, obviously, you can see Aware on another level right now. They are already one player left for envious this hey hey at least at least they took the pressure off jcap for a second here that's my god i don't think i've seen cinder lose a gunfight in this one and that's a 6-0 2-0 lead now for aware over envious is aware as study just walks by and he just dropped his jaw just hit the floor optic is down 2-0 he said Envious is I, down. I have gotten no confirmation on no, that, but that's not for if, sure. if Envy is down 2 0 and Optic is also down 2 0, what is what? happening? And I, I just, you know, I'm done doing prediction shows. I'm done pretending what? that I have any idea of what might possibly happen in events because, especially these first events, this is, this is just crazy town. Lawless, 10 kills, 7 for Happy, 1 and 6 for Merc, 1 and 6 for. Nameless. So that was what Lawless and Happy combined oh for 17 gosh. and 3. Anytime 10 and 2, they had a 5 0 and a 7 0 kill to death ratio on their squad. You know, Lawless, especially, he's wow. the one that struggled a little bit in game one to a degree. I mean, just, just from a, simply from a KD perspective, yeah. he started out really rough, brought it back a bit. He but uh, 10 and 2 is not struggling. That's what you call giving the Giving him the, the, the hot business. That's Benson's new thing. Give him the business. Comes to America and all of a sudden he thinks he knows slang. He doesn't know slang. <laughs> He's a detriment, as he would say. Aware is up 2-0 over Team Envious. Coming up next, Game 3 is Capture the Flag on Biolab.
You guys are not going to want to miss it. Aware could pull off the upset with the hot 3-0.